Hi, my name is Gene Duval. I'd like to show you two of my counterbalance mechanisms. Okay, the first one on the left is a rotary counterbalance mechanism. It moves throughout a complete 360 degree unlimited range of motion, unlimited number of, of times. Uh, the next one on the right is a linear counterbalance mechanism. Uh, moves this one only for a short distance up and down. And uh, both of these mechanisms are adjustable. Um, the one on the left right now has no payload on its end of the arm here. Um, so if I want to uh, add some weight to it, um, I have a, a weight here that I can put on the end of the arm. And if I unlock the arm, you can see that it now turns it into a pendulum. So if I want to adjust it, I can just unlock and uh, move it to a new setting. I think I got that roughly the right place there. And now it's balanced again throughout a complete 360 degree range of motion. Uh, quite accurately balanced uh, with a couple paid on the end of the arm there. Um, let's see, I'm not sure what to go to next. One thing I would like to stress on this is how easy it is to adjust. Um, if you can zoom in on my finger there, um, uh, even though I'm stretching a spring here, it's the adjustment itself is very well balanced so that it um, just takes probably less than an ounce of force to adjust it. And uh, let me see, let me change to another. I will take the, the weight off again and bring it back into the right place for the empty arm. See if I got that right. And again, it's now adjusted uh, for the empty arm over its complete range of motion. Um, this is the linear counterbalance mechanism. And right now it's adjusted with the gallon of water here, dyed nice and blue with a roll of tape on it. So you can see that it stays balanced over its range of motion. Um, but if I push it down to the bottom and remove the roll of tape, you can see that it's changing the overall weight by maybe a percent or so. Uh, brings it back to the top. Um, the way this mechanism is adjusted is by turning the knob here, which gathers up different numbers of springs, different coils of the springs. So if I turn it uh, in this direction, um, that increases the force, so it, it brings it back to the top. If I turn it in the opposite direction, it adds in more coils, so the force goes down. And if I just find just the right place again, get it balanced over the entire range of motion and take off the tape. Uh, it's unbalanced again.